All right, everyone, here comes another match in the FFT Arena AI Tournament Season 2. And on top, we have the Damned, and on bottom, we have Audubo. For the Damned, we have Go to Z Jail the Thief. Apparently, I must have picked up a chance card that told me to go straight to jail. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. We have the, we have the Squire, who is worth $12,250 uh, on Park Place. An archer who's worth 20 grand on boardwalk. An oracle who loves to be called Mr. Moneybags. Hmm. I love the Monopoly references, by the way. For Audible, we have um, Dreyfus the Ninja. I think it's Dreyfus, yeah. Uh, Alistar the Monk. Bella the Paladin. And Helena the Geomancer. Alright, looks like we'll be going to map 23, which is Baloo Residence. Here we go. This should be very interesting to watch today, at the very, very least. We have the Damned in the blue and Audubon in the black. Thief goes for quickening and gets it. Dreyfus will rush forward, not too much. The monks will rush forward as well. Archer will go for a Mimic Derivon. Gets nobody. The, the odds of that happening was actually very low. And the Squire goes for a quickening as he rushes forward. And Bella will be looking for a slow two. Very strong spell. Geomancer's got them all bunched up for a huge AoE. Oh, Paralyzed. He's got to bounce off the Archer and it's going to hit the Ninja. Good. Shiva hitting everyone, but didn't kill either one of the damn units, so... Dragon Spear onto the Monk. Alright, the Ninja's out of the action, at least for the moment. Ooh! A double kill Earth Slash. Damn. Audubon is definitely in control of this one. So Don't Move's gonna miss. Squire gets up from Re-Raise and goes for Quickening, and he's gonna have to rush back right now. So, Adabo is really in a comfortable position here. Thief gets up from re-raise after being critted to death with a spin fist. And the Squire goes for Bull Rush. Um, doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. And the Geomancer is probably just going to finish him off with summon magic anyways. Yep. And what he knows is another Shiva. It's interesting to note that Shiva even views if have Ifrit or Ramu, unless it cannot attack itself otherwise. Like if it, if it cannot, um, like the AI generally likes to use Shiva a lot, a lot more further than um, than Ramu and Ifrit. Just something interesting I I just like to point out. Oh, oil proc that would have killed a thief for sure, but the bag did it. Alright, so Audubon uh, wins round one. We'll see what happens in round two. And here we go for round two. This time we're in map 55. Graveyard Airships. So last match, yeah, Audible pretty much uh, took control from round one pretty much from the get-go. And the dam could do little to nothing about it. So we're gonna see how round two shapes up for both teams. Alright, everyone's just charging forward right now. Not really doing much. Park Place goes for quickening and gets it. Bella will rush forward, and, and she's going to be looking for a slow two, as Geomancer is going to be looking for summon magic, slow two hitting, Salamander hitting two units, I think one of them got hit with an oil proc, that was the thief, yep. 
He opened up the archer for a second. The Alistair will rush forward, not too much. The Oracle could be looking for a sweep. Well hit. Hits the ninja and hits the geomancer. So the damned is pretty much on an advantage. Yet OCO accessory. Not a bad idea. And let's see, the Paladin's gonna be looking for haste. To hit herself, the monk, and the geomancer, actually. Weapon break hit, so the ninja is, cannot do wield. Ouch, 442 damage Earth Slash. That can't be comfortable. Alright, Thief heals himself with the next potion. And double paralyze on the Geomancer and the Ninjas. So the Damned is trying to open up his status based offense here. As we see, 100% don't move from the Paladin. Which does hit. Alistar, but it's good looking for a stupid magic. Yep, to get rid of all the statuses the damn was able to inflict. Charm does hit, so it might turn things around. I don't know yet. And Thief goes down to Shiva. Oracle will be right there for the raise, though. Ninja can only hit the Squire once, though. Oh, that got, that got rid of the, um, the short edge. Yeah, so no oil procs out of him. Armor break hits. Raise connects. Ball rush hits. And Park Place has got the rush back right now. Alistar, who is hasted right now, is going to look for Earth Slash. Drops the Squire. Now, Charmer to the Geomancer. Okay. Things might be very interesting from here. Slow 2 there. It looks like this entire match is cast slow 2 on my emulator, for whatever reason. And the Charm Geomancer killed her own ninja. So, I don't know. Can the damned even tie this match up? See, it don't move proc, but it's gonna trigger Dragon Spirit. See a shell too that time. Dreyfus gets up from re raise and he's gonna, have to, he's gonna have to rush back now. As does the Squire. See, Charm did finally wear off, but the Geomancer will still go for, yep, double panel summon magic. And it's gonna hurt a lot. Slow 2 hitting the Thief and the Oracle. See, accessory on the on the Paladin. That got rid of her Jermina's boost, so she won't be able to run as far. And Monk's forced to get up and do a Chakra. That Geomancer is still charmed, so... Ooh, Armor Break does hit, so no Dragon Spirit. Now, I think that Monk loses the Earth Clothes, I believe. Charm did finally wear off, but is it too little too late? We shall see. And the Geomancer will be looking for more summon magic here. Yep, Shiva. Squire goes down. Sleep does hit. So, yep. The Damned is definitely staying in this thing. Don't move on to the Thief and the Oracle. It's going to make things even harder for the Damned to capitalize. That ninja does not know items, so it's not like he can restore um, sleep status. Thief able to get rid of the uh, don't move with a bandage. Paladin's gonna be looking for looks to be more don't move, or maybe oh slow too. Try to keep the oracle and the thief slowed down. Revive hits, and the ninja will go right back down again. So this is gonna be so this is a bit of a res loop right now. Charm hits again. The Dan, the yeah, the Dan is three for three with charms here. So let's see. It looks like it's going to be a haste onto the thief, which does hit, and the archer should go back after the ninja, which he does do. Very very smart. And it looks like someone on, what well, looks to be the Dam's team, I think, just crystallized. Haze on the Oracle, which does miss. 
Ninja gets back up again, and the Oracle, what's he gonna do? He's gonna go for a Berserk? Ooh, actually, a night, not a bad idea at all. That Paladin does not know any offensive uh, weapon besides just a bag. Oh, Berserk got blocked, though. His charm did wear off. And... That was a double... That was a crit shot that time. Another slow two coming up. And it does hit both the Oracle and the Thief once again. That Geomancer is still asleep, and the dam has not been able to put this match to a close here. Charm finally missed for the damned. That archer is still um, knocking out knocking out the ninja. Another berserk coming up. Will it hit? It does hit this time. And as long as it does hit, then that paladin is rendered useless. And that monk without the earth clothes cannot use um, earth slash as effective as he once did. How counter flood? How ivy? That could have triggered stop. And down goes the monk. So this looks to be the dam's match to win here. GMS is looking for fairy. And it does bring back the monk. Uh, the archer, though, should be able to put him right back down. Oh, Ooh, Mimic Dervon. Nice. Puts the Geomancer back to sleep. Now we're going to see a Don't Act onto the Berserk Paladin, which does hit. The dam definitely made a comeback here. Three on two. In the dam's favor. Armor Break hits. And that's going to render the Geomancer even more vulnerable than she once was. Oracle's looking for Staff Axe. That's the only thing he can do at this point. But the damned... Oh, Steel Accessory missed. The damned definitely made a very nice comeback here. Weapon Break misses. Another Don't Act coming up. And the Thief goes for one more Steel Accessory and does get it this time. And managed to, gr to snag a Crystal. Don't act hits. And see a counter flood. It was a heal that time. Archer will go after the Geomancer once again. She's in critical. Now it's three on one. Thief goes for quickening. Bag smack. Looks like another sleep. Hits. Now the, now the only thing that needs to do is, is have well the paladin's shit get broken. And that's exactly what's gonna happen right now. Right now, Audible's knight is being rolled with status fest. And it's not going to stop anytime soon. And this should do it, I think. Not yet. Not yet. Now it's over. Alright, so the dam ties this match up. Guess we're going to a round three. All right, here we go for round three. This time we're on map 48. Slums of Zogidus. Uh, what tied up for the damned in round two, quite simply, was the simple fact that um, Audible just could not um, get away from the damned statuses long enough. Thief does not get oil, therefore survived. And got an auto potion in the process. All right, the archer will look for Mimic Derivon. Which misses them both. The thief was trying to chantage, so that's probably why um, the thief was not affected by the mimic Derivon. Regardless, Squire's gonna stay put, which is actually very smart. All right, the Paladin will be looking for slow two here, as Geomancer will rush forward and go for summon magic, and hit only the Squire and the Archer. Slow two hitting three people actually. Shell two. Ooh, good idea. Smart thing on the Oracle's part. And the charm does land as a result. 
And the Squire will be looking for Bull Rush. No counter though. And Dream Fest with Ninja will go after the Thief. Yep, kills him after the Oil Proc. Sigma Magic to get rid of Charm, so no luck for the Damned here. Another slow two coming up. And the Geomancer will be looking for more Summon Magic here. On your goal, which won't really do a whole lot. Yeah, only 56 damage. See, so Thief gets up from re raise and he's going to X Potion himself and rush back. Heart Place, we look for Bull Rush again. Eats a Counter Flood. Let's see, Boardwalk will look for. Oh, don't move proc on a ninja, so he won't be running around meleeing people. And the monk look for Earth Slash. Gets it. Paralyze. Mi misses the Paladin, but hits the Geomancer. And the ninja goes down. But he does have re raise, so he should be getting back up very shortly here. Geomancer Wiz don't act and has to run away at the moment. Slow 2 hits again. Dreyfus gets up from re-raising, kills the uh, thief. All right, whatever works for him. Ooh, a counter after Earth Slash. The Squire is gonna have to build some more speed just to buy himself a little bit of time here. And <clears throat> Pound's gonna be looking for a re-raise and gets it. Very good. And the Ninja gets another turn and. Up, an armor break onto the Oracle. Now I think there's went his white robe, I want to say. Earth Slash. Then we see a raise onto the Archer. Paladin will go for maybe, oh, Transfusion. Very good idea with the regen kicking in, keeping her still nice and healthy. Squire goes for more quickening, and he uh, falls back right now. See, Ninja will go back after the after the Oracle. Well, not quite. I don't know why he didn't attack the Oracle that time. Is it a height toss? No way, it can't be. Squire continues to build more speed while the Thief did crystallize. Rays does connect, and the ninja will go up back after the archer. Armor break, and there was a miss. Pound looks like she should be looking for a haste here. And gets it on a ninja herself and the geomancer. And the archer goes down once again. Monk hops up. Goes out to the Oracle, Earth Slash is going to trigger a Regenerator. So it's 4 on 2 in um, Audible's favor here. And the Oracle will be looking for more Rays too. Question is, will that hit? Yes, it does hit. The Archer's back up, but only 117 health. That's due to the uh, armor break from earlier. Geomancer will go for, I think, another, more summon magic. Don't move on to the Oracle. Alright, so Park Place will rush forward and get rid of Haste with Bull Rush. See, Alistar will go for another Earth Slash. The Oracle's in critical, and the Oracle is dead. So, Geomancer looks for more summon magic. Squire goes for Steel Accessory. Don't think that would really help much at this point. So, yeah, all there's left is just that one Squire, and it looks like uh, Audible will, will be advancing to round two. Well, the damned just got bankrupt. You're going down to the losers bracket. GG.